Hey, what's up guys? Sanjay here. Happy Sunday to everyone. Um, so today I'm going to try to explain to you what I do before I launch any Facebook ads campaign um, for Shopify, for lead generation, for webinar registration, anything. Um, and I think my advice is pretty good because I've spent thousands of dollars um, on Facebook ads for my Shopify store. I've spent thousands of dollars of my clients. Um, money on Facebook ads for their businesses as a uh, paid traffic consultant. Um, and obviously I'm not going to, you know, try and brag and say that I'm some expert like a lot of these uh, kids are doing. Um, but, you know, I'm on the verge of making being a paid traffic consultant slash email consultant my full-time income. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. And I'm going to explain to you how if you do this for five minutes before any Facebook ads campaign, It'll save you hundreds of dollars and, more importantly, weeks of your time trying to optimize for something. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, guys. So, I know. Very, very slick editing on my part. So, uh, before you start any Facebook ads campaign, uh, I'm assuming you guys are very familiar with the whole sales funnel. So, it looks something like this. It goes from ad to... product page which goes to checkout page which goes to you actually making money okay so this looks uh, I mean so you can do this funnel for anything but since you know this is an e-commerce group we're gonna do stick to Shopify so uh, you can actually reverse engineer this so you know exactly what your numbers need to look like at each point of your conversion um, ad sets. So let's say, uh, for example, we're selling a $20 um, you know, unicorn t-shirt and it costs you about, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, so it costs you about $10 to make the shirt. So you have about $10 on ad spend that you can spend. Now, for me personally, I'm completely okay with breaking even um, on the front end because I know I'm good enough at email copywriting that if I bring in someone for free, I can get them to buy something within a month. Um, and I suggest everyone have that same mindset and really focus on the back end instead of you know the front end funnel. So for me personally, I'm willing to spend $10, my entire ad budget, to make that one purchase. So I'm willing to spend 10 purchase. So I'm going to spend ten dollars per purchase. So now let's go up the funnel. So the add to cart rate in e-commerce, the industry average, is or not the add to cart rate, the abandon uh, cart rate is about seventy percent, and that's actually a very very optimistic view. Um, I'm trying to be more optimistic in 2018. So that means ten, if ten people add your product to their cart, seven of them are going to leave it, and this can be for various reasons. Their, the shipping price might be too high, their dog could bark outside so they ran and like let him in, they could be viewing your page or your store in class and the teacher asked them a question. You know, there's a lot of things that could factor in there. So, but three people who do add to cart are going to purchase. So what you do is you take 10 and you multiply it by 0.3. So that, that means we're willing to spend 